Hey coach, this is for you. So you're developing a triple threat and you are struggling on the balance of letting your triple threat read the defense on their own or having them see it for themselves. Let's talk about some ways you can set them free so they can learn fast. Natasha Watley, two-time Olympian, I help softball athletes become game changers. For the best softball, slap hitting, tips, drills, motivation, please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. This Tasha tip is brought to you by my live free class on how to build a game-changing triple threat. Come learn on how to build a slapper into a triple threat properly. Sign up for my class at gamechangers.natashawatley.com forward slash live class. I get asked a ton by coaches if they should give their triple threats a sign every single time they come up to the plate or if they should allow them to see it for themselves. My answer immediately is let them decide on their own. So what this does is it gives your athlete accountability. When they feel responsible for their own outcome, they pay a little bit more attention and they learn faster from their failures. Another reason why you should let them decide is this allows your athlete to see for themselves. If an athlete can see the defense and see where the defenders are playing her, she can make her own decision. And as a coach, you may see something different that the athlete may not see. And that does not build confidence. If an athlete can see for themselves and know the tool that they need to do, they're gonna be a little bit more confident going into that box and it's gonna help them learn and it's going to allow them to adjust to defenses a little bit quicker if they can see it on their own. The last point is, as a coach, you can always override with signs in crucial situations. By all means, if there is a play that needs to be put on coach, go ahead, take charge, put that sign on. But more times than not, if you give your athlete that ability to read the defense for themselves, great things will happen. Also, as a coach, after or before and at bat, you can always discuss what you see as a coach. This is going to ensure that that athlete is learning and seeing what you're seeing as a coach. I have a three-part mini video series on the SLAP basics. Download it from the link below. Also, if you want to join a community of softball parents, coaches, and players and have conversations about SLAP pitting, I have a secret society and a free Facebook group where we share tips, drills, and motivation. The link is below. Coaches, it's our responsibility to grow our athletes. By giving them the autonomy while teaching along the way, this allows our athletes to grow the most. And having accountability gives that athlete some responsibility to take their own at-bats into their own hands. There is no greater feedback for an athlete besides execution or no execution. That's how you learn. So let's give our athletes the room to grow. Good luck, coaches. If you liked this video, please let me know by commenting, liking, and sharing this video. Make sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos. Thank you for tuning in and I will see you next time.